Hello everybody, welcome to my video. Or me raking every Team Tom Flurry try. Which I've been wanting to do um this video for a while, which uh I finally want to um do it because I really don't have any ideas for this week. I don't got diecast available. So um let's um let's begin. Oh um here's a re reminder. Um uh, mini trucks will not be on our which means I think Little Red, I think that's the name of the mini truck that broke power Rugo drives them. Um I forgot the other truck, I think it's Lil Bully, I think, or I forgot the name. But those trucks will not be on here. Only, like, the the main trucks are, I don't know, like, what do you call them, really? So, uh, no mini trucks, basically, I'm saying. All right, um, number five, we have a Michigan Ice Monster. Which, the thing is, this truck never started as a, a Team Tom Florida truck. It started as a, I think it was Impact Racing, who owned it. The team of Impact Racing owned this truck, or... Started, I forgot how it went, or they bought it, or... I know that um, Team Tom Floor, I think, bought the truck, or bought the the body, or brand, pretty much. Or, or the I, IP of it, or however, however it goes. But, um, the thing is why I put this at number five, is... The thing is, this is not a bad truck, I actually kind of like it. It's like going for, like, an old-school approach, which... That's what Michigan Ice Monster pretty much started as, which... I really like that, um... But uh, I feel like there's better trucks on here this list, but it's not a bad truck, so I, I, I still really like it. Okay, um, number four, we have Excalibur. This is like the same thing for um Michigan Ice Monster. I think it was also owned or like bought by Impact Racing Butts and then um went to Team Tom Flory because they bought it. I think that's how it went. I forgot if whoever owned it first, but. I know it started as an old school truck, and that's what Team Tom Flurry is doing again. Kind of like what um, Michigan Ice Monster is going for, old school. Same here with uh, Excalibur. And I admit it, I like Excalibur more than Michigan Ice Monster because I don't know, there's something about it I just like. Like the detail right there, I don't know if you can see it. There's like a little, I think it's supposed to be like a, I forgot what they're supposed to be right there, but there's something, but I just like it anyways. I just, I don't know. To me, it's like a number four truck on here. But it's not a bad truck. I really like it, to be honest. Okay, we have number three, and it's Recreation. I really like this truck a lot. And I am really sad that it's not really, like, running, like, a lot of shows. I think it only did one show so far, which was the Freedom Factory, which was driven by Matt. Which I'm kind of surprised, but... Which, um... It was still a pretty cool appearance, especially the... thing crushed, like, a, a van, which was pretty cool. And did a perfect slap wheelie by Matt, which, man, that was awesome. But I really hope this um, truck competes in a Monster Jam event. Or maybe it'll get to sweat up World Finals when I go. I really want to see this truck in person. It just, it just looks really great, but I have to put this at number three because the other two I'm about to talk about, um, I'll explain. But the detail on this truck is pretty good, especially like the, the wolf right there. I think there's supposed to be kids on, like, on the back. I don't know if it's supposed to be um Michael and Nick when they were a kid. Or I don't know who it, who it is, but yeah. Also, I don't know if you see that detail right there. But there's supposed to be something right there through that window. I think all windows there is pretty much for the body, like has like a little detail, or like a something in it. It's actually pretty cool. Also, on the back of the truck, there's like sponsors, which really cool. Like or like a, what I call it. It's like a really cool like idea, or I don't know what you call it really, but I think like people do that in real life where they put like stickers on the back of their car or like a road trip van or like a how am i forgetting the name of the rv which is actually a pretty cool detail just like real life which i really like it a lot but i had to put this at number three unfortunately but it's still a really great truck in my opinion really creative so yeah number three goes to recreation okay we have number two and it's jester so um the reason why i chose number two for jester is because I'll talk about number one. I'm pretty sure you guys already know who number one is because it, I think it's might be the most popular truck part of this team, but I have to put Jester at second. All right. You may be wondering, why did I put this truck at second, but not Recreation at um second or I don't know, like, you know. Okay. So I don't know why, but there is something with the Jester body or like the Jester truck alone. I really like Jester a lot. Like really do. I remember, um, when I went to Anaheim last year, I was just really excited that I'm going to see this truck for the first time. It sucks that it rained, like, really sucks, because I really couldn't see the body because of the rain. But I was at the pit party to um, take a picture and get up close, which was really awesome. Also, to see Kraken was really cool. 
But man, I just love how the body looks. I just like the colors, like the detail part of the jester, like himself. I really like it a lot. There's just something I so like about this truck. I don't know what it is. I think it's just the colors, especially the blue. The blue is my favorite body by far. I might rank, who knows, I may, I may um rank all jester bodies or I don't know how that's going to go. I might, I'm not sure yet, but who knows. Let's see how this video will go. Also, so, um, I just really like Jester. That's what I'm really saying. And I put this at number two because I don't know why. I just, it's so, I just pretty much explain why I like this more than Recreation a little bit more. Like, I had a little debate between which should be at number two. Like, I had a big debate. Or like a, I don't know what you call it. Like, what should be at number two or number one. Because, man, these Team Tom 4 has really great trucks. Really great. And they're really underrated, in my opinion. So, yeah, Jester will be number two. All right. Now we have number one. Number one is Kraken. Yeah. So, I originally wanted to put Jester at first. But I just, I couldn't, like, decide, really. I really like Kraken a lot. But I don't know. But I kind of like Kraken a little bit more, to be honest. Like, I just, I don't know, man. There's something about Kraken I just really like. Really do like it. I really like the green body and the blue body. I like the blue body a bit more because, I don't know, my favorite color is blue. And it just looks really smooth on the the body of the squid. But, yeah, um, number one, we'll go to Kraken. Because, man, just look at the shrug. Like, this looks really awesome. Like A squid on, like, a body of a shrug is a really cool idea. I really like the way they did it. Instead of just making the entire body just a squid, which, man, that was, that's an awesome detail right there, really. Really glad they didn't go the other way, just make the entire body a squid, but rather have the squid on the body of a truck, which is really, really awesome. And the detail of the Kraken has, like, right there, the eye, wow. Like, man, Team Tom 4 knocked it out um, with this truck, really. But, man, I had... I just didn't know what I wanted to be number one, Chester or this truck. But I had to feel like, I feel like Kraken kind of deserved it more. So yeah, um, number one is Kraken. Alright, so um, we reached the conclusion, which, man, I just gotta say that Team Tom 4 trucks are all great, really. And like, all the, like, I just want to give a massive respect to all the crew chiefs and drivers for Team Tom 4. I really respect you guys. And, Man, if if any of you guys working for Team Tom for it or the drivers possibly, I just want to say you guys do great. Just letting you guys know. Also, um, if this video d go um does well, I might do a Team Throttle Monster. Who knows um if that will happen if this video goes well? Cause the last video got three thousand views, which man, YouTube been going. I don't know how that got three thousand views, but that's more subscribers or. More, um, what do I call it? That's more people than my subscribers. I don't know why that revealed a steel, um, video blow up so much. I just want to say thank you guys, really. Or thank you, YouTube. But thank both of you guys. Thank all the viewers. Also, thank you guys for 350 subscribers, really. Wait, are we yet? Hold on. We're at 370 currently as I'm filming. We're getting a lot because of that video. Man, YouTube just, I don't know what is with their algorithm right now. They're just... Man, I don't even know what's going on. So, yeah. Oh, oh, sorry about my camera. So, that's pretty much what I got to say, really. So, um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And remember to like and subscribe. And see you next time.